Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Divine Elemental. I'm going to do a collective tarot reading for you guys today. Tarot readings are for entertainment purposes only. Um, yeah, we're going to jump right in, guys. God, Michael, Spirit, please connect me to the collective at this time. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine Collective. Anything they need to hear... Withdrawn, single, lonely, solitary. Realizations, epiphanies, understandings, awakenings, <clears throat> mistakes, misunderstood, victim, lost soul, stress, turbulence, tension, arguments, past life, deja vu, repeated patterns, karmic lessons. This is honestly the energy that we've been picking up on the last few readings, even without using these oracle cards. We have pain, apprehensive, afraid, cautious. Also, when I started this reading, my hands got like really clammy. Like when someone gets nervous. Excuse me. <clears throat> someone could be going through a dark night of the soul or the rise of the phoenix, whatever you guys call it. I feel like those are two different things. But some people don't. Also, jump into the conversation I posted on the community tab, guys, about whether or not you guys have seen the astral or the physical versions of your higher selves. Like, have you spoke to them, interacted with them? I'm really curious. 144 on the clock. Chosen one. Shout out. All right. What, what deck do we want to use? Let's straighten this out first. I don't know why Taco Bell just came into my head. So maybe you guys like Taco Bell or that's significant. Let's use this lovely deck here. Yeah, look at bottom of the deck. Nine of Swords. A lot of stress. I'm getting that song, Lonely, by Akon. I'm so lonely. <laughs> so maybe someone's sitting in a bit of a little victim mode here. We all go through it, guys. We just gotta move through it. Alright, come on. God, Michael, Spirit, connect me to the collective. Ace of Cups. Rebirthing something. Honestly, what I'm getting with that, though, someone's really sad. Someone could be crying a lot. They also could be in physical pain. Afraid of losing you is what I'm hearing. Um... Yeah, it's almost, I'm getting, hit me with your best shot. Why don't you hit me with your best shot? So if someone was like avoiding healing, I feel like they're getting like a tsunami of feelings. Yeah, like I'm getting an overwhelming wanting to get emotional. Like so many things are um, like a bunch of epiphanies, giant light bulbs. Yeah. They could be in this depressive energy here. They could feel like you abandoned them. Yeah. They could have ghosted you. Or they feel like you ghosted them. September 17th could be significant. Oh, you know, that's so funny. Because September 16th is when my <laughs> divine masculine um, decided to like ghost me <laughs> 423 on the clock guys april 23rd could be significant i'm only laughing because i've 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 healed a little bit guys i wasn't always laughing about it all right what else <clears throat> someone could actually be going through withdrawals and it's causing them physical pain i just pictured someone throwing up what else Six of Wands. 
Yeah, just, I don't know if you guys can hear it, the sound bowl meditation 505, but literally it just like dinged, like something was clicking. And this is Epiphany's Awakenings. What else? What the hell just happened? It flipped. Guys, look at this. It literally flipped back into the deck. So I'm just curious. Knight of Swords. Yeah. Someone could be like wanting to come towards you and communicate. And then, yep, they get all hermit. And they're like, no, no, no. Like they get scared about something. I'm hearing, um, I don't even know if you want to talk to me anymore. I feel very chill though, guys. Like super zen, super chill when I started this reading. Five, five, six. The star. They want to heal this. They want to heal themselves. Oh yeah. They want to heal themselves, guys, to come towards you in the right way. They want to heal themselves uh, so they don't get lost on you, is what I just heard. Yeah, they're working on something. Could be how to how to communicate with you. They're trying to listen to their intuition. Excuse me. Three of Pentacles. Yeah. There could be a lot of arguments within a community or a friend group. Could be over work. I'm also getting it's over you, though. There's a lot of tension. Tension, excuse me. Ace of Pentacles. Two aces. Beginning and end. <clears throat> so, a lot of rebirth energy. I love that the star's in the middle, too. Aquarius energy. Because I always forget to say that. And we have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Past life. Um, yeah, I'm hearing some... Yep, look at this. Split the deck at the Empress. I'm hearing someone wants to do it right with you. So in past lives, you guys could have had repeated patterns where you never came together. Tr Someone's name could be Tracy. Um, where you guys never came together and they want to make sure that you do in this one. Alright, why the Ace of Cups? My hands are really shaky. I feel like someone is super nervous. And they're not telling you about it. <laughs> they're going to come at you very confident. They're going to come at you like they're very, very confident and sure of things. Look at this. We have the Seven of Swords, the King of Wands, the Queen of Cups, which is you, and the Six of Swords. They want to fix things with you. And they want to come off very confident, but, like, on the inside, they're, like, super nervous. I'm picturing someone, um, like, in a coffee shop that keeps looking back at the door to wait to see if you're going to actually show up. And, like, their, their leg is, like, shaking. And they're, like, fidgeting, and they keep sipping their coffee. <laughs> That's so cute. I mean, it sucks for the person going through it. You don't really feel cute when that's happening, but. Yeah, I feel like real chill, like pothead chill. <laughs> I don't know what's up. It's like we got nerves on one end and then we have like chillness on the other end. See, I'm, I don't take reversals, but this came out in reverse, and I'm kind of feeling that way. I'm not going to lie, guys. I feel like your person is feeling lonely right now. Because... They didn't make a decision on whether or not 
they wanted to be with you. Left you up in the air and now they're feeling like they're being left out in the cold, honestly. They could be struggling financially, having a hard time balancing. Let's get one more for this four of wands and two of pentacles in reverse. I'm trying to feel more alive, guys, in this reading, but <laughs> like I'm really chill and I don't smoke weed, okay? The first one that came out was the eight of cups. Okay, so I was getting this. I was trying not to bring a third party into this, but um, someone either is in the process of or they have left a supposed happy home. But they are struggling financially. It is what's best for them, though, because the Eight of Cups leads to the Nine of Cups, so them leaving this connection will actually help them gain more self-love within themselves, which is what we want, you know? And when you get that Nine of Cups, cups you add that, that Ace of Cups, you get the Ten of Cups. 1121. What also came out was the Nine of Pentacles. Again, single energy here with the Ten of Swords, an ending. Temperance in the Page of Swords, which was on the bottom of the deck prior. I just didn't tell you guys. The 14th could be significant. 17th. Someone could be really hungry because I just got really, really hungry. <laughs> Almost to the point where I thought my stomach was going to growl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're trying to um, come at you in, in a balanced way. They want to think before they speak. They want to do things fair. They want to do things fair to you is what I'm getting. Your divine masculine could be, take it how it resonates, um, could be tapping, tapping in more to their uh, feminine energy, which is good, guys, because we want to balance this out. Um, because they are coming out as... <laughs> Nine of Pentacles, believe it or not. Yeah, look at this. Ace of Swords. Three aces, guys. The truth will set you free is what I just heard. The sun. Wow. Something's getting illuminated. And it's getting illuminated, like, big time. It could be uh, while there was stagnation in this connection, guys. 1912 could be significant. Wait, 1912. Someone could have a Jeep. Because I believe Jeep Company was created in 1912. I don't know why I know that, but... I mean, I love Jeeps, but I don't know why that came there. <laughs> yeah, someone's feeling like you don't want them anymore. With the Four of Cups and the Seven of Swords. They feel like you've moved on from them. I'm being brought to that song, the channeled song that I did, I posted last night. Um, she Ain't You by Chris Brown. You make it hard for me to see somebody else. I'm calling her your name and yes, messed up. Cause I'm thinking about you. <laughs> I love that song. But the, the, <clears throat> the, oh my gosh. Yeah, someone's nervous, guys. Because you know me. I'm a Gemini. I have the gift of gab. I can speak. <laughs> but uh, I keep stuttering. Stutter, stutter. Um, the part that's standing out to me, 1414, was the part where he says, I want to leave her, but I don't know if you feel the same. And I can't think of how it goes because I would have sang it for you guys. No. Mm -hmm. Every time I'm with her. Yeah. Five of Swords. They're afraid of conflict. They're afraid that you're going to tell them how it is, honestly. Like, they're afraid that they're going to walk away from something and that you're going to want nothing to do with them. Yep, Queen of Swords. It's because you have your boundaries up. But they realize now 
from your perspective how things played out. They realize why you have your sword up now. That you were offering a hand, like a helping hand, and they spat in your face. Queen of Wands could be getting a lot of attention right now. Excuse me, sorry. I just heard it was because uh, they didn't have your back on something. Maybe family. Family got in the way. Wheel of Fortune. Two of Swords. Wow. And the Death card. No freaking way with the lovers. <laughs> what? Yeah. And the Emperor. Guys, I'm just saying. There was a family that made your situation with your twin so hard for you guys to come together. They put a literal block on this connection. Because look at right after. So you guys might have been flowing. Very nice. Seven could be significant. July as well. 16, 19 on the clock. Um, you guys could have been flowing and then someone didn't like it and put a block to that. And even though it was giving you happiness, guys. Great conversations. I'm hearing I miss talking to you. I want to talk to you on the phone is what I just heard. I miss hearing your voice. Yeah, it was almost like it was always something with you guys. But I feel like it wasn't really created from you guys. It was created by other people because they wanted this to end. Someone, someone tried to steal your spiritual inheritance. October could be significant. Yep. Five of Wands. People didn't want you guys together. Why the star? Actually, I want to get one more for this Queen of Swords. I'm not going to lie, guys. Tower. Ooh. Ooh, buddy. Something's going to happen. Your person's going to see something, and then they're going to want to rush right towards you. I just heard you were right about everything. So, guys, if you're anything like me, like my brother and I were discussing this a while back, and he's like, you know what the problem is, Monica? It's not that we're not predicting the truth. We're predicting it too early for people to comprehend. They don't see it until it's already happening. The Hierophant telling you divine connection this could have to do with a higher level of commitment guys because the queen of swords also could be like a a divorce like a scorned um woman but honestly i feel like it brings this divine masculine success because they finally wake up to something what is this though i want to know i want to know what love is won't you to show me what's this tower god michael spirit what's this tower you know i was just talking to i was just talking to my son's mother who is my karmic um and i was telling her about my divine masculine's karmic and i was like i have this feeling that one day he's just going to um start shit and try to trigger me so just be warned that he may like tell you lies because i'm super honest with my um son's mother so it's like this situation, like when I pieced this together, I told her like right away. 1919, my son knows, my mom knows, my brothers know. 1923, so it's like I don't go out of my way to hurt people, but I always had this feeling like he would try to do something that would um, that or say some kind of lie about um, my divine masculine. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this, so maybe just be wary of that. Maybe that's what they're going to try to do, because I stopped shuffling at the Queen of Cups, so. Alright, why this tower? The Magician. 
and the eight of pentacles. Someone's manifesting something. Oh, someone's manifesting you. 2012 could be significant. Isn't that when the world was supposed to end in the Mayan calendar? Well, yeah, someone wants to birth this back into life. Very passionately, too. The Knight of Wands, Ace of Cups. Oh, I just heard I made my choice when I saw the Two of Wands. Which, I mean, if you look at the Two of Wands, he's holding on to one wand. So even though this is a decision, I feel like he always has made his decision. Like, I see the world with you kind of thing, where this one's just hanging back, like, waiting for this Ten of Swords. Like, I gotta end your shit. Yeah, this, uh, this person is actively manifesting you. Maybe not consciously, but subconsciously with their fears and sadness, um, which is not really, honestly, a good place to manifest. Um, you want to try to keep it positive, guys. Don't think of the negative. That's why even, maybe this is why I told you. When I, um, I always had this thought that my Divine Masculine's karmic would always try to trigger me. It's almost like, you know what it is with people with me? I have like this fiery side that people know about, but I'm, I'm nice normally, like every day. Like I'm, I'm a kind person. Like I'll hold a door for you. I don't care if you're male, female, it doesn't matter. You know, like I'll go out of my way to be nice. And it's almost like people are like, I mean, what's wrong with you? There has to be something. It's like, nah, bitch, I'm just nice. Like. Stop waiting for the other shoe to drop. Maybe some people are just nice. You know, not everyone wants something from you. And that's what it is. It's like people are so conditioned in this world that they expect people want something from them that they almost create the bad shit, honestly. But it's like, if you want to piss me off, I can get mad. <laughs> like, I can get mad. I have no problem getting mad, you know, but shit. I try not to get mad because once that switch flips in me, like, I'm done with you. Like, and that's why I don't try to do it. I was a pissed off kid, guys. I try not to get angry because I know what happens when I get angry. And I don't care how big and tough you think you are, even though my... Never mind. <laughs> I'm not going to be mean. All right, let's get back to this. Guys, if you haven't already, hit that like, subscribe, and comment on this video if you like this content or you just want to show some love. Thank you guys for the donations, by the way. All my social medias and everything else is in the description box. Please don't get scammed out here. Please, please, please. That's why I kind of changed um, I changed my, um, my photo on my channel because the other person got my photo, which I have no idea how, but whatever. Um, so I changed it. I'll probably put it back in a little bit, but for now, trying to, you know, change things up. All right. We have the Empress coming out under the star. Yeah. See what I mean, guys? They realized that they misunderstood you. They could have listened to other people, honestly, because I'm being drawn to this, the community and the, the tower. Again, you know, guys, it could have been the same scenario where someone made you or some people made you out to be someone that was other than the empress. Nurturing, kind, love-hearted, you know, like kind-hearted. Did things out of the goodness of your heart and didn't want anything. And now they're realizing that was a mistake. Six of pentacles. They're also realizing that they didn't give to you. They didn't reciprocate the way that they should have. And they want to make it up to you. They want to explain to you that other people were in their ear. And that they were seeing other things and they weren't trusting their intuition. It could have been friends, guys, with the three of cups. Excuse me. Sorry. I keep burping. My bad, guys. I don't know why. I mean, other tarot readers say those are confirmation burps. So, I mean, this whole thing's a confirmation, apparently. <laughs> Now I just got the hiccups. All right. Yeah, they want to bring things to the light and correct things. 11-11 could be significant. 
And I just heard, I want to take you out on a date. <laughs> I don't know why the person was singing to it. Maybe they're going to sing to you. All right, why the three of pentacles? I'm so sorry about a really chill reading, guys. I feel like I'm more lively, but this is what you got. Gone, Michael Spear. Why the three? Yeah. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, they're stressing about money. Money, money, money. I just heard, baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. Actually, you know what scene I just pictured was from Transformers when Megan Fox was, I know Megan Fox was born with an Adam's apple. I heard in the comments, <laughs> whatever, I don't care. Um, uh, but when Megan Fox is walking away from Shia LaBeouf in the Transformer movie <laughs> and then Bumblebee starts playing, baby, come back. <laughs> you guys got to check out that scene. Um, yeah, so a Camaro might be significant for you guys. We have King of Wands. Yeah, see what I mean? They're projecting like they're one way, but underneath they're having... Yeah, so this could be like a Divine Masculine that has a lot of eyes on them. And it's almost like they can't show weakness. I think this Divine Masculine also has a um, is really good at hiding their emotions for you away from people. But they want to tell you the truth with the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Swords again. Yeah, they want to do things right. This is a Divine Masculine that is taking their time because they want to come at you in the correct way. Look at this Queen of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles. I know Knight of Pentacles everyone hates because it's slow as molasses. But this Knight is the one that makes sure everything is done correctly. Also, I'm getting that this Divine Masculine is very, very protective over your connection and over your emotions. And I'm hearing it's because they were careless with your emotions. I just saw 717. They're trying to um, heal and get rid of certain options or things in their life. I'm also hearing that they're hanging out with people they don't want to hang out with. That they're bored with. They're realizing this in solid, uh, solitude. They're grieving your abs absence. They're wondering if, you know, it could just be water under the bridge and you guys can start off. Five could be significant for you. My stomach just growled if you guys heard that. I told you it was coming. 28 could be significant or 82. Oh, we have Sagittarius here with uh, Wheel of Fortune. We have Libra, Scorpio. I already said Aquarius. I'm not going to say it again. Virgo with the Hermit. Sag again with the Temperance card. All right. So, let's see, though. Ooh, fuck me. Damn. Look at this. I shuffled in the damn devil. I was going to say, let's see, though, if their finances are going to get better. Um, we have the devil with the king of cups. Ooh, wow. Someone feels a lot for you. The devil isn't always bad, guys. It just means, like, it could be, like, enhanced emotions. So this person could really need to work on expressing their emotions. Because the king of cups, they feel deeply, um, but they have a hard time expressing that emotion. And with the devil here, they could be feeling a lot. I'm, I'm getting the ace of cups here. A lot from you, uh, for you. Yeah, I'm getting like that tidal wave of emotions. It's like a dam was broken in the floodgates. Yeah, and they want to rush towards you. But they're waiting for a sign, I just heard. They don't know if it's the right time. With that devil card, I'm not going to lie, guys. It might not be the right time. <laughs> just saying. This is coming from me. You know patiently not waiting in waiting energy for my divine masculine all right so god michael spirit is the finances going to get better for this divine masculine before reaching out to divine feminine the magician always wants to come out in this deck page of swords the full 
They're manifesting something. Is their finances going to get better? The star. Independence. Keep in mind, guys, we saw the nine of pentacles, which is a single energy. And so is the magician. And remember, I was talking about that your divine masculine might be tapping into their feminine energy. And now we have masculine energy. So there could be a lot of balancing going on and healing that, those energies. And in turn, will help financial abundance. And we have the Ace of Cups again with the King of Swords. So also balancing out emotions and logic. Communicating truth is what I'm getting as well. And another balance and patience energy with temperance. So after some healing, guys, I do think that it is going to come for, to fruition. God, Michael, Spirit, why the Ace of Pentacles? Mm, that was quick. Eight of Swords. Mental Entrapment. Ooh, I just heard Prison. Maybe that's prison for some people. We have the Seven of Swords. Yeah, this is... um. So, okay, let's circle back, guys. If it is prison for someone, okay, whether it's this Divine Masculine, you, Karmics, it doesn't matter. It has to do with finances. It has to do with something to do at work. Okay, but that's not for everyone, so don't be all paranoid. 313. If you're not doing illegal scammer shit, then... You don't have to worry about that. Um, but yeah, someone is delusional. They're, they're thinking they're... I keep channeling this. They keep thinking they're more trapped than they actually are. And it could be because of a past life karma that they haven't healed from yet. We have the Page of Cups. Could be a childhood wound. Seven of Wands. This could be this could have been a divine masculine who had to defend themselves and take care of themselves when they were younger. Like nobody had my back, so I'm gonna have my back type of energy. Yeah. Ten of Cups. It definitely could have had to do with family here. Another way I can read this guys is someone is having a hard time offering you this Ace of Pentacles, because um, they could already have a family with kids, guys, with the Ten of Cups and the Page of Cups. But again, this is this is deceptive. They think they're trapped. They think it's going to be harder. I'm just, I'm hearing, I want us to have a fair chance. I want us to be given a fair chance, is what I'm seeing. And that's one of my cards in my, my deck. So we may channel those because when i when i channel specific decks in my mind's eye i like to use them for extra confirmation yeah see queen of pentacles there could be like a, a wife energy husband energy there's no gender in tarot this is all energy that's making this a longer process to come towards you and they could be using the kids i'm not gonna lie using the kids to stop this divine masculine Maybe um, they don't outright, yeah, they have to start trusting their intuition and knowing, I just heard knowing that you're not lying. So if you had warned this divine masculine of this karmic energy and what kind of trickery they were up to, they need to start paying attention and listening to their intuition. Um, I just heard you've proved yourself thus far. But I'm not saying that this karmic is outright telling this divine masculine, hey, don't leave because what's going to happen with the kids, blah, blah, blah. Um, he or she could be doing certain things like, um, you know, it's so crazy how people just up and leave their marriages like that. And then the kids are in distraught. And usually the kids go down a bad path and blah, 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 you know, like incognito type of shit. And it keeps your divine masculine in this energy. Where they feel like they can't have what the divine is literally floating to them. Because they're too busy thinking of what they have to sacrifice or what they're going to lose. When really, nine times out of ten, it's not a full loss. Four, four, four. Alright, why the Ace of Pentacles? Did I ask this already? I can't even remember. Why the Ace of Pentacles? Yes, victory. 
So they will overcome this. Look, six of wands, six of wands, the realizations. They have to trust their intuition. They have to trust that they can trust you. Oh, why am I using this deck? It's a whole different deck. But it's okay. We have the king of swords, the queen of swords, and the sun. Yeah, something's going to get illuminated. And then we have the eight of cups. This divine masculine is going to walk away from this queen of swords energy. Because this is a divorced couple here. Queen of swords, king of swords. They're going to see something. Yeah, and then I saw the queen of pentacles, the king of pentacles. It could have to do with uh, a kid, a child, with the page of swords in the sun. The fool. You know, what I'm picturing is um, there's, there's a parent talking to their kids inside of a car. And um, this parent is explaining to them what they want to do to see how the kids would react. And the, the kid in the front seat had said, I just want you to be happy. So I don't know if that's relevant for someone. I don't know if you guys have had that conversation with your kids or you think about it. I was picturing um, a, a boy with like blonde curly hair, like really, um, <laughs> Really, like, longer blonde curly hair. It was weird. But he had, like, a little baseball hat on. Probably around, um, I would say, like, 11 to 13 years old. And then we have the tower coming out. And I was not asking anything. But we have the two of swords with the world. And what's this lovely card? What? What? what what's that? Yeah, the plan's already in place. Guys, I think this connection, honestly, with the tower coming out again, Pisces energy over here with the high priestess, before I forget, Taurus energy also came out with, I think, the Hierophants, Taurus, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's going to be some kind of divine intervention with some deep-rooted issues, and it has to, it could have to do with the home. All right, let's get some Romance Angel Oracle, and then we're going to pull from the channeled messages. 3744 could be significant. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So, guys, stay living in the present moment. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. Guys, don't hold on to this energy, please, please, please. You don't want to be in waiting energy. I can't express that enough. If you are in waiting energy and not allowing new energies to flow through you, flow towards you, it will stop this connection from coming together. This is not a normal connection. If you're in a twin flame, a real twin flame dynamic, if you are in waiting energy, it will always, always retract the other way. It will never come towards you. I can't express that enough. And it can't be pretend. You actually have to have that self-love, that self-respect to be like, okay, if this person is choosing not to be in my life, then they are making that choice alone. Not making a choice is making a choice. Okay, and you guys need to have enough self-respect for yourselves to know that you deserve better. And I know it's a hard place to get to. Trust me, it took me a while. <laughs> um, I had to learn a lot of lessons real quick in my, my spiritual journey. God's like, okay, you, you're taking too long to start the spiritual journey. And now that you are, we got some business to do. Uh, but we have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. And as long as they're wearing that mask and not speaking their truth, guys... The divine will not allow this person to come towards you. I promise you. You're too important to God for that to happen. Yeah, see? And this came out in reverse. And I'm getting because worth waiting for. It's not necessarily being in waiting energy. It's not necessarily 3939 is waiting for them. It's not that. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Enjoy the present moment. Learn to love yourself. 
Focus on yourself. Focus on your endeavors, your hobbies. Like, get to know who you are. Date yourself. You know, before, I never liked going out to eat by myself because I thought it was so awkward. Now I legitly take myself out on a date. I dress up and I'm like, yo, bro, we're going to go eat. <laughs> and we're going to go enjoy our own damn company. And I put my phone down and it's just me, myself, and the divine. <laughs> hey, that sounds like a good song. Me, myself, and the divine. <laughs> All right, we have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. This is super important, guys. Um, after my happy-go-lucky uh, tarot reading last night, I did some shadow work, right? And I was journaling, and, you know, when I journal, it, like, flows and things, like, connect. And I was like, man, I started... I thought one issue was my issue, and then I realized that I really had to forgive somebody else. Like... And the conclusion I came to, and this might be like too vulnerable and raw, but whatever, I'm good with it. I'm healing. I have literally never felt safe enough to be in my own body. And for those of you that will understand that, it, it's it's going to click. Because to me, I'm like, what? <laughs> How is that even possible? You know, like I legitly have never felt safe enough to be in my own body. And... It's hard to explain, but before this spiritual awakening, I never realized how important safety was in a relationship with the people that I was in. In a relationship with family, friends, it didn't matter. Like, I never even liked to admit that I didn't feel safe or anything like that because I thought it made me feel weak. But I realized that safety, like reassurance, especially if you have childhood traumas or traumas, period, um, reassurance is not a bad thing. Like, find someone who knows that or understands where you're coming from in an aspect of, even if they can't understand and, like, um, relate to it, still respect you enough to give you that reassurance. Because when I date people, I like them to be free. I don't want to date a prisoner. I want them to have their space and do their thing. I just want to be able to trust you. You know, don't make me question you. If I'm just having a conversation, I'm like, yo, where you at? And why do you want to know where I'm at? Like, bitch, what? Why did you just make it a fucking thing? I was just asking, like, hey, where you at? If you want to meet up for coffee or something. Like, damn. Because then I get off the phone. I'm like, well, where the fuck is she at now? Like, what? Um, But, yeah. All jokes aside. um, Yeah, just pay attention. You know what's so important when you come into a relationship with someone? Is pay attention to how they show you love, okay? Not the way that you expect to receive the love. Ask them how they express their love. Because to me, like I, my love language is physical touch. So if I'm all over you, I, I love you. You know, like I, there's no shame in my game with PDA. Okay, I, I love doing that. Um, but I also love quality time. I like being able to hang out and interact and have a conversation that isn't, hey, how's the fucking weather? Like, if I lose having conversation with you, it, it, shit is not going to flow well with, you know, the physical touch thing. <laughs> um, but then again, if I'm dating someone, maybe their love language is gift giving and uh, quality time, right? So... They might gift me something, <laughs> like, I'll give you an example. I don't know if my Divine Masculine's love language is gift giving, but she had given me these cards, not this specific one, because I ended up giving it back to her, which I realized probably, yeah. Anyways, I rebought this after a while, Um, but she had given me these cards, and she's like, here, I, I got something for you. Um, I never use them. Maybe you can play around with them, and I was like, oh, okay, cool, um... I'll give you the money. Just let me know how much it is. <laughs> and then she was like, no, 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 no. I'm giving this to you. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. Do you want it back? And she's like, no, you don't have to give it back. <laughs> so it's like in my head, I wasn't comprehending that maybe one of her love languages is gift giving. And she was trying to do that. And I totally sabotaged it. <laughs> it didn't work well. And I ended up giving it back to her when she ghosted me and she was super upset because the next time that we saw each other um, during the soccer practice, she did not even look at me and I tried to say hi to her and then she finally turned her head, but I could just feel her 
that she was so, like, I don't know if she was pissed or sad. I think it was a mix, but I, I fucked up. <laughs> but then again, you know, you live and you learn, right? I did split the deck at retreat, guys. It's time to disconnect from the world. Some of you could literally need to just sit in nature, you know, maybe journal under a tree, like connect with nature, just connect. All right, let's get one more. This is definitely turning into a longer reading. You know what sucks is I do readings at like fucking 3 p.m., right? And it, it, they don't get posted until midnight. It takes so long to upload, especially if I don't stay in the house and I'm out and about and just using data. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. You could be very protective over your person. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Yeah. And I'm also getting that your person is very protective over this connection. I was getting that earlier too and I didn't say it and I should have. But this is this could be why they're not talking to people about your connection. But remember, let your friends help you. could be the angels as well. And you do have friends and family that you can talk to. Just, um... Just feel it out, guys. Trust your intuition. God, Michael, spirit. Messages from the collective's person at this time. If nothing was holding them back. <laughs> Told you protected. I want to protect you from my karmic. We're going to put this on the side because I need to take a picture afterwards of this loveliness. And uh, you know what? I hate that, though, because I want you guys to see it. There you go. I want to protect you from my karmic. I love the way you laugh. Giggity, giggity. <laughs> uh, all right. What else? You know, guys, I just want to say, I, like, sincerely miss hanging out with my twin. Not, like, the sexual aspect. Just, like, chilling when we were friends. I think I thought back on that earlier when I was driving. I'm, I was like, man, she was such a cool friend. All this love shit fucked it up. <laughs> I want you to trust me. Yeah, I got that independence thing again, too. So maybe your person likes their independence and they want you to trust them if they're, like, out and about. I want you to feel safe in my arms. Okay. We were just talking about that, too. <laughs> I adore you. I hope our children get along. See, guys, it's not just me making up the shit with the children. The, the cards come out. I want to get to know the real you. Um, if some of you have a social media presence or you're not very open, like at work is what I'm getting, they want to know what it's like. I just started to date you, but um, to like really interact with the real you. Can we start fresh? And for some reason, I just heard eat fresh. You can take that how it resonates. Maybe Subway is significant. <laughs> just make sure when you take that that 6-inch, you don't come out with a 12-inch in nine months. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't want to fight anymore. I'm so stupid sometimes. <laughs> the 12-inch was the baby, guys. Just so we're clear. Anyways... I got lost for a while. You helped bring me back. Oh, I just got a very grateful energy to you. So this could have been a divine masculine that got lost in a lifestyle, is what I'm hearing. That wasn't really their core foundation. But um, they lost that for a little while. And you made them realize what's important to them. I am grateful for you and to you. What? Thank you, God, Michael, Spirit. Amen. I couldn't do it without you guys. All right, last ones. And then we're going to pull Moonology because I totally forgot. Happy solar eclipse, guys. What? Guys, I literally said this. Thank you. Amen. I want us to be given a fair chance. Yeah, I'm feeling that. Like, this Divine Masculine is really feeling 
Or they're gonna be. I'm telling you, they're gonna be. Someone's name could be Christina. Aww. You haven't commented in forever, girl. Um, anyways. Yeah, I, I want us to be given a fair chance. Someone is really realizing that, um... They done fucked up. <laughs> Honestly. Like, they... They made other people make you out to look like someone you weren't. And I keep being drawn to this empress. Like, they're seeing you in your empress form. Like, goddess energy. They're super proud of you, too. I'm getting. Like, they're really proud of you. And I'm getting that energy like we can have it all again. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. <laughs> I want to take you out on a date. I said this, bro. I mean, I'm humble. <laughs> I love you so much. Aww. I love you too. I want to laugh with you. Yeah, something about the way you make them laugh. And if it's not you, then it's the other way around. So take it how it resonates. But I'm getting like the way that you made this person laugh. It it almost, I'm getting that card from this Hidden Truth deck. The one that says, I know I was a distraction from your pain. Um, and I feel like you were a distraction to their pain. Like you came in in a time where they were going through a lot, and I don't think you realized it. Gone Michael Spirit. Messages from this collective. The collective's person. Messages from the collective's person. Yeah, they were going through a lot, and you didn't realize it. Yeah, you were the best thing in my life. I'm also hearing um, letting you go was one of the hardest things I ever had to do. I'm so attracted to you. So this could have been a Divine Masculine that let you go because of peer pressure. I love you unconditionally is on the bottom of the deck. What else? And then we're going to pull Moonology. Guys, I don't know if I said it already, but hit that like, subscribe, comment on this video. <laughs> Alright. So this one, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Then we have, I wonder if you're happy without me. And I almost just like got choked up. So <clears throat> this really bothers them. Like they want to be, uh, they want you to be happy, but they also want y them to be the reason you're happy. Like they want to make your day. I remember every detail of that day. We did pick up on ghosting energy, so it could have been that. I hope that you can forgive me one day. I want to tell you how I feel. All right. Moonology. And then we're going to end this lovely reading, guys. Mm. Oh, well, I love you unconditionally again on the bottom of that. Okay. God, Michael Spirit. Messages for this collective to help them. Man. Getting like acid reflex right now. <laughs> Expect powerful change. <laughs> New moon eclipse. What? Come through divine. Isn't this solar eclipse a new moon in Aries? Damn. Damn the damn. I do feel like this eclipse is going to be a powerful change. Guys, what's your what's your theories on why solar eclipses are so significant? Oh, not scientifically. I mean, you can drop that in the comments too. I don't mind learning shit. All right, show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. Not a purple. Your commitment is being tested first quarter moon. Oh, you know what I just heard, guys? There might be a um, 
a cycle able to close with you and your divine masculine, but your commitment is being tested. So guys, if there's any like meditation or like uh, shadow work that you're trying not to do, this is your time to do it because you're being tested. 55 on the clock. Exactly. The answers you need are coming full moon in Gemini. And for some reason, when I started this reading, I was drawn to my little necklace pendant. It's Gemini. Um, my grandmother gave this to me for my sixth grade graduation. Yeah. When elementary school was still in. When sixth grade was still in elementary school. Excuse me. But it's uh, 14 karat gold, but like Portuguese gold. I know. It doesn't seem like it's a thing. It's a thing, though. <laughs> um, and it's next to my little crescent moon crystal that I got in Florida. So, um, and we did get a lot about balancing out divine masculine, divine feminine energies. So. That could be significant for you guys. 55, 55 on the clock. Yeah. A time for healing, balsamic moon. I don't think... I just heard six months, guys. I'm sorry. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. I was going to say, I don't think this is right now, guys. I think there is a lot of healing that still needs to be done. Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal moon. I'm so glad this came out, honestly. Because, guys, this doesn't necessarily mean reach out to your divine masculine. But this was always something I was hesitant on um, because if I, you guys know me, I'm very much that divine feminines are not to reach out to divine masculines because the reason for that is, is because you got to make sure that your divine masculine is ready to be open and available to you. And if you allow them to contact you, that means they gain the courage and confidence enough to start something with you, whether it's a conversation or whatever. Um, plus divine feminines need to be in the, the attracting energy guys. We need to be that, that woman in the, you know, regardless of gender guys, that woman at the end of the bar in the sexy red dress, not giving a damn about anybody else in the bar, but everyone's sweating her. Like we need that fucking energy guys. Like we need, or, um, uh, regardless of the kidnapping, you know, Massimo, I think that's his name from 365, you know, like that Italian mafioso, if you're a dude kind of energy, like smelling like girls just want to eat you up, okay, that's the attracting energy that we need, okay, but anyways, this right here, be bold and make the first move, for me personally, I was debating whether or not to be honest with my divine masculine, if she ever like wanted to have a conversation, and she was nervous about not saying it, and like kind of blowing off the conversation. So I was thinking in my head, should I just like start the conversation? Because I have no problem expressing myself. If you reject me, you reject me. You know, regardless of being my twin, it might, it might hurt, but I'll be okay. You know, and I'm one of those that I never want people to go on in their life not really knowing how I truly feel about them or that they're cared for. And that's why I flirt with you guys, you know, like human interaction, some making you guys smile. That's why I do it. It's not because I'm trying to sleep with you. I mean, literally everyone on my channel is in love with someone else. This is like the worst channel to ever try to get piece of asses. But, um, uh, <laughs> anyways, back to my serious side. But, um, yeah, so guys, if you are vibing with your divine masculine and maybe they're a little too nervous about expressing it there's no reason that you guys can't make the first move after they've made the initial move in the physical okay i'm not saying go call them up and say yo i'm making the first move i'm in love with you nah you know like it, it's more of like if i was chilling hanging out with my divine masculine she's talking blah 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 uh like say for instance um i know i bring up this this example but it's because we're supposed to release expectations release expectation guys we're not supposed to demand that our divine masculine be in our lives only if they're in a committed relationship with me and that's that no that's not the way it works guys not to mention you should probably get to know each other but anyways if my divine masculine was to say hey i want i miss you i want us to be friends again yada 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 now, mind you, on my 
on my defense of how I'm going to play out this conversation is she ended things with me because she heard from somebody else that I had feelings for her, but it never came from me. It came from my karmic. But now I know I have feelings for her, so I have no problem telling her. So, um, and this might be selfish of me to want to express what I want to do, but um, I would say something like, uh, it's cool, you know, we can be friends, but I just want you to be aware. I just saw 111. Um, I don't want you to think every song that I play when we're hanging out is about me being in love with you. Or if I say some kind of like dirty joke, I don't want you to think that it's because I'm trying to sleep with you. If you want to be my friend, be my friend. That's fine. I'll be your friend. I can, I can, you know, put that boundary. But... To get this off to my chest, because I've never said this before, is I am in love with you. And that's never going to change. And if you're cool with it, I, I'm cool with it. 144 on the clock. 1144 just popped into my head. So if you're you're cool and we can move past that, as long as you know this is how I feel, I will never disrespect you and I will never cross the line. And we never have to talk about this again. But, yeah, be bold. Make the first move. And then we have surrendered to the divine. Full moon, and look at what I just talked about, guys. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon and Capricorn. I'm telling you, I just saw 1111 one, one now. You guys are being tested. Your commitment is being tested. What do you need to release? I'm telling you, shadow work. Go within. Trust your intuition. Hit that like, subscribe, comment on this video, guys. Peace.